Hey everybody, welcome back to Savage Survival, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit exciting. As the title suggests, we are going to be doing some redstone, but not just any redstone, no. We're going to be doing flower harvesting. Lots and lots of flower harvesting. But not these double tall flowers. No, no, no. These are these are pretty easy to get. You just kind of bone mill them and they give you more. No, 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 no. I happen to live next to a swamp. It's just that way. And I wanted to get some slime. And so I did some research and I found out that slime spawn in 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 swamps. And I got slime balls. Many, many slime balls. So we're gonna be using these to create a flower farm. And the reason I need that is for bone meal. And the reason I need bone meal is because, I don't know, bone meal is just useful for everything. So, right over here is where I have picked the location. And the way I did that was I basically just went around bone mealing the ground. Because I, I, I did have a little bit of bone meal. And I bone mealed the ground. And when you bone meal the ground, you're going you're gonna to get like certain flowers and and obviously grass because you know it's it's everywhere so you're gonna get flowers and grass and stuff like that and so what i what i was looking for was where was the best spot to place a farm so this is what i found when i bone it i got many types of flowers which i will be using for dyes and also for for composting because the composter and it's it's a relatively new thing in Minecraft, you know, it's it's not that new, but it allows you to turn things into bone meal. Like uh like saplings and sticks, I think. Ooh, not sure on that one. <laughs> uh and other things like that. Seeds, flowers. That's 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 why I'm doing it. But uh yeah. So let me go to bed and I will grab the materials. And uh yeah, I'll see you there. All right, I've got all of the materials necessary. So, right in this chest are what I think are all the materials that I'm I may need. Uh I might have to redo this. So if you're doing this at home, you know, do, don't do the exact amounts that I do, but you know, it's it it's probably going to be this amount. So I'm going to use a little bit of glass. I'm going to use stone bricks to build out of 12 hoppers. But, Seven chests. Six chests I think I'm going to use. I, I could need more. That's that's why it's there. Some redstone dust. Preferably like a stack and a half. Five redstone repeaters. One redstone torch. Three observers. Three pistons. One sticky piston. One dispenser. Button. A lever. A bunch of grass blocks. Spruce trap doors. Preferably seven. And two water buckets. At least. And of course, we gotta have our bone meal there to actually power the farm. So, yeah. Okay. Let me just... Oh, gosh. It is already becoming nighttime. I will go to bed. And, yes. I will uh, I will see you. Alright, let's begin. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is place a block right there with your building block. It doesn't have to be stone bricks. I just really like the, uh, the texture and color and, and feel of stone bricks. So you're gonna wanna place it two in. And then you want to go over here and do the exact same thing. Okay, so from here, I've already done it, but I'll explain it. You're going to want to place your redstone dust all along here. And from here, it's one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block right here, you're going to want to place your repeater. And this is very, very, very important. On this side, after the repeater, there can be no redstone dust. We're going to put something here instead to control it. Then you're going to want to keep going until you get to the corner. And then on here, a redstone uh, repeater into the block. And then you want to keep going. And then when you get to the next corner, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, you're going to want to place a repeater and then keep going. And then behind this block right here, you're going to want to place a repeater. Okay, next you're going to want to take your sticky piston which I have in my chest right over here, and your lever. And you're going to have to do this setup. So 
in the empty space that I said was super important, you're going to want to place another block and then go up one, two, three, take out the, t the first two blocks, and then place your sticky piston facing down so that the sticky head is facing into this. Now you're going to want to take your lever, place it right on that block, extend it, and then pull it back, and there we go. Okay, then you're going to want to take your observer, one of, one of your observers, place it facing into the block so that the face is pointing at this block and the little, little butt out here is facing out. Then you're going to want to place a solid block right there. And there is your, uh, your clock. And this is going to, this is going to toggle when the, how the, uh, how the machine is going to run. As you can see, it's all, it's all toggling down. And if I click this, it all stops. All right, let's move on to the next part. All right, now we're gonna take our other observer, and if you're if you're facing it like this, and you have that there, you're gonna want to go right to the right, and take your observer, and place it facing into that block. Nope, not 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 like that. Hold on a second. Let me attempt to do this. Eh. No. All right, I'm gonna have to pillar up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So have it facing right into there. And this is where you're going to have your your pistons. So you're going to want to take it this and you want you're going to want to take it six blocks out. 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and then take your pistons and 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and then you're going to want to get up here. So let me just quickly get up here. Okay, there we go. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me just go to bed. Ooh, <laughs> a nice bed landing. Then you're going to want to take your redstone dust, place it along here. Make sure to place it on there or else it won't be able to do it. And all along here. And when this gets... When this observes that this redstone dust gets fired, all of these pistons will start going. As you can see, there they go. It's very, very loud, so I'm just going to turn that off. And then you're going to want to do the same thing right on the other side. So you're going to want to mirror this. So I'll have to pillar up a little bit here, just like I did with the, the first time. So I'll take my observer, place it facing into there. Place six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I think I misplaced one there. Yeah, okay. So don't do that. <laughs> uh, place your six pistons going into here. And then your redstone dust. And I'll just jump up, up, up here. Right along the way here. And then when you turn on this, look at that. It's very loud, but it works. <laughs> Okay, so the next step is to place your dirt blocks, and you're going to want to place it all the way along here. All the way up until you get here, and you're going to want to leave a one wide uh, gap right here. Because if you, if you don't, it will, it will break the machine, unfortunately. So let me just do that, and... Then we will move on to the next part. Okay. And that is that all done. So now if you... And look at that. It starts to move us around. Again, super, super loud. So, all right. All right. Now let's move on. Okay. And now you're going to want to go right to the middle of, of your, uh, your little platform here. So that'll be here, I think. One, two, three... And one, two, three, four. So I think, yeah. So it, it can be either one of these rows. So you go three into one row, and then one, two, three. And then this is where you're going to place your dispenser. So I'll go up. Oh, and that's where the dispenser is going to be. So let me get that. And there it is. All right. Now, you're going to want to, if I can get up here, yeah, okay. 
you're going to want to place your dispenser facing upward. And so if you if you place it like that, it'll just be facing upward. And then you replace that with that. And there's that. So get rid of this really quickly. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do is hook up the, uh, the dispenser to this redstone. So we're going to take out this right here. Yeah, and we're going to place that in there. And we're going to place some redstone dust right in there. So then when this gets down, this will begin activating just like the pistons. Now is the time to take your bone meal, however much you have. I don't really have that much, but that's why we're building this thing. And we're going to fill this thing up with all the bone meal that we have. All right, now let's, uh, let's test this thing. It's not completely done, mind you. That won't come until a little bit later because we have to make the collection system. But this is a, this is, all right, let's, uh, let's test it. Flick it on. Oh my goodness, this thing is so loud. Okay, turning it off. Whew, okay. So as you can see, even a very short time gets you, wow, look at that, okay. So, as you can see, it, it, it clearly works. I don't know, I, I might be, it might be working, uh, it might be working a little, a little too much there. <laughs> but now let's do, uh, the collection method. And, yeah, alright, let's move on to that. Okay, now, down here, you're gonna wanna have a chest. Preferably a double chest, because this thing produces a lot. And then feeding into that chest, a hopper. And then feeding into the hopper, another hopper. And then if I go up here, the line of hoppers is going to be right here. And each of these facing into the next one. So this one's facing into this one, into this one, into this one, into this one. And so if I toss an item, like this glass here, as you can see, whoop, that, one, that was a terrible toss. But it should make its way right back into here. Yes, good. Okay. Now we're going to want to place some glass. And we're gonna want to surround this thing with some glass. Right, so the glass is gonna, you can't obstruct this with the glass. So you're gonna have to do it all the way on the outside here. And then you're gonna place some, t some blocks here. And a row of blocks here, right past this. And then one up from this, you're gonna want to place another row of blocks. And right here is gonna be where the, uh, where the trap doors are gonna be. Okay, so now is the time that we're going to use our trapdoors. So let's go over here and get our trapdoors, which are right here. Yep, okay. So, oh, and redstone dust. Can't forget that. Because we are going to hook this up to a, a button over there that you're just going to press, and it's going to release water so you're gonna have to want to place all of these right here open them all and let's get our water from over here two of them so that we can create a source block and let me also grab the button there it is and the repeater and the torch all right let's do this so once you get over here oh i'm going the wrong way once you get over there, oh, cursed thing. Just skip to when I'm there, please. Oh, damn it. <sighs> hey, that didn't happen. Okay. Place your water there. Then there. Then you can create the source blocks, not there. Right there. And there, 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 and finally there. Alright, so the source blocks are all in. And now what you're going to want to do is from a block over here. Okay, so sorry peeps, but I have just realized a mistake that I made. This right here, this top layer on the left side, it has to be solid blocks and not glass. Because this is where you're going to be placing your button, and you're going to need some solid blocks over here. So I will get some more stone bricks, and I will be right with you. Okay, so you can place your button right there. 
And if you don't want it to blend in, maybe use something a, di a little different. I might have a... So that maybe... You know what? I'm going to switch this out for... Oh, wait, I want to grab that button. Uh, let's say some... Yeah, oak planks. And so this is going to be where my button will rest. There it is. And then you're going to want to take some redstone dust all the way along here. And right here, you're going to want to place a repeater. And... Oop. <laughs> Don't fall. That, that's that's not what I want you to do. Uh, then take a block, put it right there, and put your redstone torch right there. Then take some dust, some redstone dust, and place it right along here. And not there. And when this is powered, it should keep all of them closed. But if we just run over here and hit the button. You can see that it, it it all gets flowing. So if we take if we test this and I've turned down my volume just a little bit. So here it goes. There's the loud stuff. And then when you wanna when you wanna stop, you just hit the lever, hit the button, and there we go. It all gets sucked into the collection system and you can go over here. And there we have it. There is the uh, the thing. And you can decorate this. However you want, you can put a roof on it. But yeah, that is the whole thing done and dusted. And there you go. You can use this for flowers, or you can do what I'm going to do uh, for bone meal, which is what I really need right now. And yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's basically it. So I'm going to run this thing until we have no more bone meal, and we'll see how much we get. And just to clarify something, you can hit the button and release the water while it's on. It won't break the system. You can definitely do that. And already, we are getting a monstrous amount of flowers and wheat seeds that we can turn into bone meal. And I will, I will set up a little, little mechanism for that. But that is it. That is all, that is, uh, that is all you need. Okay, so I have just run over to my little base, to my home, to, uh, to get a composter. And I have that right in my inventory. And so we're gonna compost all of these wheat seeds. And probably the, the flowers too, because I really don't have any use for the dye. So this is a super simple thing that you can do. And so what I'm going to just do is I will take this and I will dig into the ground a lot. And let's see, how far do I need this to be? Okay, let's say there. And we'll dig right down into the ground there. And then we're going to install a little auto composting system here. And these are super easy to do. Just gonna replace that because I don't need to break that. So what we need is a chest, which I do have. It is in this chest over here. A chest and a chest. There it is. I'm gonna need two of those. So here we go. And a chest goes here. A hopper goes right on top of that, and you gotta shift or else you'll go into the interface. And then you're going to take a composter and shift while you jump. There we go. And then I will go up here. And there we go. And then I will just... Or wait, that was wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will take a the input from here and face this hopper into there. And as you can see, it starts um, it starts to take all of the items out from there. And then, if I take a lever, which I don't know if I have, I do not. But worry not that I I do I can take this. <laughs> all right, and then we will make a, le a very simple thing here. And then, with this lever, I believe, 
we can lock the hopper. Yes, we can lock the hopper. So if I turn this on, it turns into composting mode and makes, uh, makes bone meal. Yeah, there we go. That's all there is to it. Super simple, super easy. You can even add an auto sorting system, which I'm not going to do right now, but you know, you you definitely can. And I will take all of these and put them into the system right now. All right. And then you can you can always like reconfigure this some other way or something like that. You can now you can place the chest some other way. We'll put these into here. There we go. And that that is that is your uh, your little flower slash bone meal farm completely complete. There you go. <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. So the flower farm is not the only thing I want to do today. And the other thing is going to involve a little bit of a little bit more redstone, but I'll also as you can see here I've been working on uh, some paths. So right here, this is coarse dirt, and we've, we've got that layered in with some cobble, some path blocks. I'm not sure about the, uh, the sand here. I'm probably going to change that up for something else. But this is all going to be leading over here to our little, uh, our little, I guess, blacksmithery or something like that. I don't know what it's going to be called. But this is the entrance to our mine, as you can see over here. And it's also going to be the uh, the area for a um, a uh, an automatic smeltery system. So that's what that's going to be. So whoops, I'll extend this a little bit. And then so these things are pretty easy to build. All you need, and what I'm building right now is a double. It is a, uh, a double one, so what we're going to need here are six hoppers and six chests. So i got to put those two right up on there. And let me grab myself two furnaces. And then, so this is going to be a little smeltery system where I can smelt large, large quantities of items uh, quickly. So yeah, let me, I will craft these two up, two. All right. And then we'll go place them on there. I'm not sure exactly what will smelt. Yeah, I'm definitely going to change this up. It doesn't really look that good. But let's shift while I'm doing this. There we go. Eh. All right. And to access this, there we go. And then we need four, two more hoppers right there. And I guess I can take away this for now. Oh man, the, the space. I didn't build this right. <laughs> Alright, I guess I can put this out here. There we go. Move that. And like that. Alright, so from here, we can place a hopper there. And our final two hoppers right there. And then, we're going to have two chests like this. Oh, I want that to be a double chest though, so... Uh, oh, that went into the... There it is. Alright, so then we can put that right up against there, and that goes there. And then the other one... goes... right there. Okay, there we go. So, it isn't pretty, but I will cover this up. I'll put a little roof on it, and I'll add some, uh, some other stone and andesite and other other materials here, but basically this, the, the idea is that you put the things you want to smelt, like say if you want to smelt glass, you just put it in there, and it gets taken out, and it gets split up among these, and then in here, you're going to put your fuel, and that's going to be in here, and I'm probably going to use like buckets of lava because they can smelt like 100 items at once, and then when it's done smelting, it'll be pulled from here, from this uh, this slot, into the hopper, and then into this chest, so it's super simple. And it's very easy to build. It's oh, <laughs> no one saw that. We're just gonna, we're gonna, yeah. We just uh, take all the items from here, and we'll build a roof on this thing. And we'll make it look nice. And I will switch this up as well because that's kind of.
kind of looking bad behind there. There we go. And then I'm going to need a little more gravel so I can put some more coarse dirt in here because that's the, uh, the recipe. And I'm incorporating more cobble as we get closer to here, you know, indicating. Oh, oh, I just had a good idea. Hold on a sec. Let me, uh, so I, I actually have a good idea that I just had right now. I didn't, I didn't think of this. Uh, but we could use, so if I can grab some coal from over here. So we can use, how do, how do I do this? Let's see, what I'm looking for is a campfire. How do we make those? Ah, okay, so it's, it's just logs. Okay, I do have lots of logs over here. So let me grab a, let me just put the whole lot in there. And, okay, let's see. Aha, okay, how many can we make? 10? Uh, okay, maybe not 10. Let's go with four. Yeah. I love that they added these things. They're, they're so cool. All right, and then we will just put these like there. Yeah, and then I can put one right there. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, I can't get up now. <laughs> no. I'll fix that later. I'll put one there. And then there. So we can have some smoke rising up. I love that they added this. And then, ouch. They do hurt you, though, so. And then I can fix this up right here. There we go. Get rid of this. Okay, cool. And then, if I put, like, a, a little chimney over here, this can look really cool. And so, there it is. Very, very rudimentary, but it's uh, it's coming along. It puts a few torches. I even put this uh, spruce trap door, and I realized that spruce kind of spruce kind of goes really well with this. I'll put a one in there just in case. But yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll go to bed, and I've hidden the uh, the uh, what are they called? The campfires underneath these slabs, and slabs. With slabs, they still have that particle effect. And then up here, I've got the uh, the one under here, and then there's one under here. And yeah, I, I did experiment with, uh, with a roof, but I'm not very good at those uh, those kind of circle-y shapes. So I will do that at a later time. And then I have also been waiting for this grass to, uh, to spread, because I took away the... the... Um, sand and I think it looks better. I also added some slabs here and there, you know, to give it a little little height. Whoops. <laughs> it's too fast. Uh but yeah. Anyway, so I think that this uh this just about wraps up the episode for today. We got some some good things done. Got our, our little super smelter over here. And it's not really a super smelter. It's kind of like a a, a mini super smelter, a uh, a, a minute. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and combine them. We got a little mini super smelter over there, and then our flower farm over there. And I think I forgot to show this to you guys, but I did do a a farm over here. Okay, I, did I did I show you guys this? I can't remember. I'm sorry if I did, but here it is. And I can't pick this up. Darn it. Uh, what can I get rid of? This side, sure. But yeah, uh, I will see you all in the next one. And uh, remember, stay savage. Bye.